package just came in. Play me. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. He is. Hours, not days. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the bus, I can bus! You can't do this alone. Whoever did this has another motive. Something personal. When was the last time you saw your father? Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. I'm a mess, man, like a spiral. All available units, officer down. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct! Spiral, 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 spiral. I need everyone on this case! Spiral, 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 spiral. Ah. It could be anywhere. It could be anyone. We're gonna tear this city apart. I'm a mess, man, like a spiral. Hello, Detective Banks. When was the last time you saw your father? What is going on, you guys? Mache slash your hands and bring you guys a new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new trailer for Spiral from the Book of Saw. Um, I'm going to be talking about my, my thoughts, my opinions, and some of my theories I might have. So, uh, let's just get straight into it. So, starting uh, yesterday, we got five photos. Five photos were posted from the official Spiral or Saw Instagram page. And they're all pictures of the cast members. And here's the first one of Chris Rock right here um, with the Spiral, as you can see. Um... And then there's 21 Savage. I was very confused to see him until watching the trailer. It made a lot more sense. Turns out he's doing part of the soundtrack. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, each of these cast members posted their own photo. But yeah, Spiral, the Instagram page, also posted all these photos. Um, these photos remind me very much of the MTV Scream uh, posters uh, from back in the day. I remember that... It had, like, the character and, like, half their face was the ghost face mask. And this is what this reminds me of. Um, in that case, obviously, it was, you know, who's the killer? You know, oh, at the finale of the season or of the show, um, it will be revealed. And I believe that's the same case here. Um, but personally, I just don't think any of these people that we uh, see in these photos are the actual killer. It could be possible. I'm not saying it isn't. But I, I just have a feeling that it isn't. I just don't think it's going to be Chris Rock. I don't think it's going to be Samuel Jackson. I don't think it's going to be 21 Savage because he's not even in the movie, I don't think. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be any of the other two. It's possible. Maybe, if anybody, it'll be the uh, female. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. But I feel like it can be her. That's the only person I'm kind of thinking of for some reason. Um, in this trailer, we get a lot more than the other trailer. Which I believe was a teaser, not even a trailer. But we do get a uh, a good a pretty good look at the new puppet, and it definitely isn't Billy. And all over the trailer, we basically see all the stuff from Saw, except they're a little different. We see the pig head, but it's not exactly like the old pig head that we remember. We see the Billy doll, but that's obviously not Billy at all. And we do see, we still see the spirals everywhere on everything, and we get a few more um, little hints and stuff of what's gonna happen. So here's a pretty good shot at the pig head mask. It looks a lot like the uh, this Spirit Halloween pig head mask right here. This isn't like a saw one or anything, but you know that's that's the point. So basically, what I'm trying to get at here is it looks like this killer is 
just kind of getting what Jigsaw had and have and making them his own sort of. So for example, they probably read that Jigsaw had a doll. So there's this is the doll right here. They had a pig mask. There's the pig mask. So it looks like that's what this killer is doing, and we get hints towards um why this killer is doing this. Possibly it's because um it's like a personal reason that they're killing these police officers. Um, it re it very much reminds me of Logan from the from Jigsaw. Now I know the creators of the movie said that this new movie had nothing to do with the other ones, um, so no returning characters or anything like that. But I you know I you know after a lot of uh you know times where we have been lied to, who knows that that's probably not true. They're probably just saying that so we can maybe not you know get right who's the killer or something right. But it very much makes me think of Logan, just because Logan did the same thing, um, kind of. He basically got, he basically, the whole movie, he tried to kill uh, Halloran, or Halloran. And in the end, he ended, up, he ended up doing it for a personal reason. Detective Halloran was the one that, I guess, let go of Edgar, or let him free. And Edgar was the one that killed Logan's wife. So yeah, that's kind of his personal reason. Now, this new killer, assuming it is a new killer, uh, may have a similar reason. Um, because I don't think, you know, it would just be some... They definitely have some sort of motive. They're not doing it for no reason. Now, this doll right here, as you see, it kind of looks like a pig in, like, some sort of army outfit, which can also mean something. Something about war, something about... You know, I don't, I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but it, it could relate to the police somehow, and that's how he's getting his motive, or whatever. Now, in the other teaser trailer, it looked like the killer could be Chris Rock just because of the dialogue that they gave him. But watching this new trailer definitely doesn't seem like it. Now, that may or may not be true. It could still be Chris Rock, but. As you know, with everything, you know, for example, the screen movies, each character has a little bit of dialogue that makes them sound a little, you know, suspicious. And in the end, it ends up being someone completely different. So in this case, um, we may think it's Chris Rock, but it turns out being like, I don't know, that lady from the office that we saw. Who knows? But that's, you know, kind of what that's what the doll and the pig head looks like. So I just went frame by frame on a couple of the shots here on the trailer and I was able to get a very good uh, shot of what's inside the box that Chris Rockets delivered at the beginning of the trailer. Looking at it, it's 100% the doll that we've seen before. Um, just judging by the eyes and just like the look of the face or of the head, I mean. And, um, you know, he does have a line in the trailer saying to get everybody out of there. Now, that could probably mean he looked inside the box and there's something else that's, you know, that could be threatening, um, you know. And that could mean there's probably a bomb in there or some sort of explosive. Um, now, that it could mean that or it could mean there's it's, it says, like, a clue, maybe, um, I don't know, someone is in the room is, hap is, is going to happen in the room or... Um, or maybe someone in the room is the killer. I don't know. It may have some sort of hint that makes it seem like it's not safe to be in the office anymore. Maybe it's, oh, uh, the office, there's explosives in the office. They're going to go off in who knows how many minutes um, or at whatever time. Um, which can also, now if that is true, that means that most likely the person uh, or the killer is someone from the office. And that would kind of, you know, give us, you know another clue on who it can be but judging from all the little things that we're getting about the motive it doesn't seem likely since a police i don't know why a police officer would be pissed off at their own police officers right now maybe it could be a logan situation but i feel like they're no, they wouldn't redo that uh whole you know kind of storyline i feel like they, they would try to do something different but you never know um now, in terms of do I think any of the old characters are going to return, I don't think so at all. I don't think anybody's going to return. Maybe Tobin Bell, because we do get a, a picture of Tobin Bell later in the trailer, it looks like. Someone has a photograph of him. But I don't think we're going to see actual Tobin Bell. 
I don't know why um, I get that feeling, but I, I just don't feel like it's likely. But but if anything, I you know what? He is going. I, no, I, I feel like he will. He will. Actually, no, you know, he will. I think he will. I just, for some reason, I have a feeling that he won't be in it. It just seems that everything they're giving us seems like it's just going to be a completely new story and just kind of giving, you know, um, just kind of, you know, like, I guess sort of, uh, nods to the older movies or something, right? And, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about. But in terms of who I actually think is the killer, I don't know. I don't even know if we've met the character at all. I don't know if we've seen him in the trailer or maybe, uh, you know, it is Logan, which, once again, they did say that, you know, this new movie has nothing to do with the other ones, really. But once again, it could be an Avengers Endgame situation where they lie about the title. In this case, they could lie about, you know, not having to do with anything. Now, it is possible, just because it does seem like, you know, if it is Logan, then it kind of makes sense. He had to get his pig mask of his own. He had to get a uh, a doll of his own, maybe. And they're just kind of going for cops. Maybe the same situation happened. But once again, I wouldn't like for the same storyline to happen. And neither would I like it to um, kind of be a redo of the other one. Uh, but having some sort of different reason. Because in that other one, remember, uh, his wife was killed and the killer was le- was set free. So he's killing the detective that um, did that. So, I don't know. I just... If they were going to do that again, I'd be disappointed, but I mean, I guess there's another Saw movie, right? So, my main theory here is that there will be a return of some of the older cast. Not exactly sure who besides Tobin Bell. I don't think it's going to be someone like um, Gordon or Logan and definitely not Hoffman because he's probably dead. We just still don't know about that yet. Um, Amanda's dead, so... You know, and maybe some of the older uh, survivors from Saw 7. Um, and speaking of that, if you see this shot right here, they're in a church. And it looks a lot, uh, it looks or it looks similar to the place that all those Saw survivors were in, in Saw 7. If you remember that, that had cameos of basically a good amount of the older survivors. Um... It had some of the Saw 6 people. It had some people that we never heard of. They were just like... Um, I don't know. They just kind of told their story that they were in a trap or whatever. And possibly Chris Rock and you know the other detective can be here. Maybe because they know that there, a lot of survivors are here. So maybe they want to go to them and maybe um, get a, a clue at you know who's doing this or why they're doing this. Or, you know, just some, some sort of help on the, on the, on the case. Now, if we, if that does end up happening, it's possible that the characters, you know, they go, they go to the, you know, to where all these, uh, Saw survivors are. And uh, he's there and he ends up, and possibly, possibly one of those survivors can be the killer. Um, it can be one of the older ones or it can be a new one. It's most likely going to be a new one. But like I said, my theory is about older ones. So, if that's the case, then it's possible that the survivor is doing the killings because they're pissed off that maybe the police didn't help, um, help them, you know, after the whole saw trap thing. Maybe, you know, um, something bad happened to a family member or some sort of relative that pissed them off and it was in uh, fault of the police. And that could have been it or that could, it can be something similar, but... It looks like if that were going to be the case, it would kind of fit well. It looks like this killer is um, going towards police police officers for a personal reason. Maybe they, they were in a jigsaw case before, um, maybe when Tobin Will was still alive, and it's still and they uh, didn't get the help that they needed or a relative did. Uh, it happened to a relative. So that's like the last thought I have here. Um, that's kind of all I got. For today, I might make another video on this topic. Maybe I might give the trailer a few more rewatches and have new thoughts. But yeah, so this new movie definitely looks crazy. It, I don't know if it's gonna be you know amazing, but possibly if they bring back some of the older cast, but don't do it you know too surprisingly. 
then I would be okay with it. Because remember in Saw 7, um, you, I mean, who was really, you know, extremely surprised when we saw Gordon? I mean, I knew, I, I know I wasn't, you know, but basically, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and, uh, it's a machete slasher, and I'm out. Peace.